Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Conway Ford, Conway, South Carolina, and just want to show you what the lot looks like. It is a large lot. They have a good selection, and um, so basically, I know what you're looking for. You're looking for a vehicle that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on. It gets good gas mileage. It's reliable, and it doesn't it doesn't have a bunch of complicated features. Well, the 2015 Ford Fiesta is one of those type of vehicles and I think it's a very good option it does have some you know this one is a it does have some stuff on it it does have an automatic transmission um, it does have the um, aluminum wheels Bluetooth it has a few things really good convenience and safety features that you know the kind of a kind of a must for most people um, but it doesn't you know go into the you know real expensive uh, features that you know kind of for just luxury I guess so this is a really good choice for for good transportation at a good price you, you know if you're making payments the payments aren't going to be very big and you're gonna have a new vehicle um, for about the you know very similar price to a, a used another vehicle that's used or whatever but anyways let's check it out you can see, uh, like I mentioned, this one in particular has the alloy wheels. Uh, you can get a uh, one with the, uh, like a steel wheel with a hubcap, but this one has the, the alloy wheels here. And just the overall design of it is pretty cool looking to me. It has an aerodynamic sleek design. The front end in the 2015s are they have like a sporty look to them. Uh, to me, they look good, especially the red color. But here, looking in the front, you can see it has the halogen headlights here. And that chrome grille stands out. And the, the, the lines there in the hood kind of slope down to give it that, that sleek look. So let's take a look in the passenger seat area. You see everything's black. It does have the cloth here. Now this has like this kind of a rubbery um, material there and then a hard plastic on the outside. And that rubbery material is also on the dash as well. Pretty interesting, it has texture there. So you do have a bottle holder in the door and a little tweeter speaker there, a bigger speaker down here. The seats are cloth with some white stitching and they are fairly comfortable. You got plenty of room. I mean, look at that. Look how much space in front of that seat. It is a, a roomy vehicle for being a compact, kind of a compact style car. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the glove compartment. It's pretty good. It's about the size of an Expedition's glove compartment. All right, here's the back seat. There's the inside of the back door. Pretty basic on the back door. Um, it is a smaller vehicle, so it does have a little bit smaller back seat. Now the front seats are pretty far back, um, but you know this has still has a plastic on the seats. It is a new vehicle, but it does have the cloth seats, and you can see the the leg room is a little bit limited when the front seats are all the way back. But um, it is you know for kids or um, past you know kind of a smaller adult, it's really not a problem at all. Do you have a cup holder? power supply there as well as a little pocket so let's take a look here in the back this is the SE trim level which you can see with the SE badge and then it's got the Fiesta and like a cursive design there with the blue oval here in the center Take a look in here, and you can see the trunk is pretty significant, and it's not a tiny trunk at all. And those seats will fold down as well, so in case you need some more cargo area, uh, you can fold the seats down and, and get some more cargo space. But yeah, the, the trunk is, is, I mean, pretty good size. Also, this vehicle does have a spare tire. And that's one thing you want to check on uh, when you're buying a new vehicle. 
see that funnel right there and i'll refer to that in a second but uh, a lot of vehicles don't have a spare tire you want to at least have a donut uh, like a small spare tire because um well, i mean a lot of times when you get a flat tire sometimes the tires flat uh damage and you can't just pump it up and keep going so uh, definitely in new vehicles you want to make sure that you do get a spare tire or at least be aware that you have one or not uh, some cars don't have them so this is a capless fuel design and behind the fuel door you can see it just has a place to put your fuel nozzle it says no cap and i mentioned that funnel earlier because if you do have to use a gas can Normally you could just put the, um, the nozzle in there, but if you need to use a gas can, you do need to use that funnel to put it in there and pour the gas in. Let's take a look at the window sticker. So you can see the options there. You have 37 miles per gallon on the highway, very substantial. Pretty good um, safety features there as far as the ratings. All right, so the driver's door is uh, just like a mirror of the other side, except for it has uh, the door controls, window controls for all four doors. You also have the, um, the ability to adjust the uh, side mirrors, and it has the auto power side mirror adjustments there. It does have automatic headlights, so you can you know put it on park, uh, parking lights, regular headlights there or just automatic and you don't even have to worry about it your dimmer switch is here for dimming uh, adjusting your interior gauge lights um, brighter or darker it has manual adjustments on the seats but basically once you get it adjusted for yourself I mean you know you don't really have to adjust it much after that all right so let's take a look inside here here's the key See, there's a lock and lock. You do have the ability to push the button and open the trunk. So that's pretty cool. But let's shut the door, see how quiet it is inside. Not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and put the key in. Start it up. Got the air conditioner going. So here on the steering wheel, it is a leather wrapped, hand stitched leather wrapped steering wheel here. And let me turn the fan down a little bit. All right, so here's the steering wheel. It does have the, the bolsters here to kind of give you a sportier look and also give you better grip uh, when driving. You do have the cruise control on the side, which it does have cruise control. It also has the volume control here change to the stations you also have voice recognition button there and also there your Bluetooth button so you can answer and, and hang up on answer calls and hang up the phone and all that good stuff once you pair your Bluetooth phone to the system there's your gauges uh, pretty basic easy to read and then you've got a little digital display there in the center your fuel gauge and all that good stuff and um, so you got your gonna reset your trip here um, turn signal windshield wipers are on that side so this one has this little screen here and you can control it using this knob here and uh, also these buttons but I'm gonna kind of get a little bit closer so you can hopefully see what's on the screen uh, with your eyes you can see it but the camera has trouble picking it up sometimes so let me see if I can get that okay so right there is what it looks like and I'm just gonna kind of just kind of scroll through just so you can get an idea right now I'm in the radio screen so I can scroll up and down and all that stuff so I can go to the left and uh, go all the way back because this is your main screen so you have your CD radio uh, your sync media uh, sync phone um, so basically you can play music off your phone or different me media devices which I'll show you in a second with the auxiliary and you uh, Bluetooth, um, I'm sorry, USB and auxiliary input. Um, so basically that's your, your main menu there. And it does have a CD player and you can um, you know play music through the radio, CD player, uh, media, you can play music through your phone. Um, it does have, you can adjust the sound here, 
uh, your presets are on that side you can tune through the stations you have your volume button here as well as on the steering wheel you can unlock the lock and unlock the doors right there and it gives you an indicator whether they're locked or unlocked you could have your four-way flashers there and down here is your climate control buttons your fan speed where you want the air to blow the air conditioner recirculate the air um, your temperature now one thing I want to mention with the recirculate the air is not just to make the air colder which it will do because it's recirculating the cold air but also it keeps outside um, air from coming in so like say if there is a uh, odor outside or, or, or you know maybe a truck in front of you is smoking and you know um, you don't want that smoke to get in the vehicle you can just push that and keep and you roll your windows up and keep your uh, all your um, all the outside nastiness out from keeping from getting in your vehicle so um, that's one thing that uh, people may not be aware of all right so this button here is so basically I'm not really sure what this one does uh, it has something to do with the interior lighting which um, at night during the day it's hard to really tell what it is it could be some kind of um, I'm not sure maybe if you know you can tell me because I don't I'm not sure what that button does sorry about that but um but anyways here's the shifter so you can put it in reverse you can put it in neutral you can put it in drive but you also put it in sport mode so sport mode will give you the ability to um, put the emphasis on performance the vehicle will focus on performance you can also change to the gate gears with the shift with right here on the side of the shifter it does have the ability to uh, kind of manually shift through the gears if you wanted to so you can adjust um, you can only go so far it's not going to let you change out too far out of a certain gear ratio to, to avoid messing up the engine and transmission but you can have some level of control of the shift points Microsoft sync um, it does have the, the the USB and the auxiliary inputs there and also of course the Bluetooth um, so there's lots of different ways of playing music besides just a CD or the radio you do have a power supply 12 volt here and you can you know plug in stuff and charge it here's the, your parking brake um, just kind of standard lift it up lock it in place and lower it uh, they've had those for years and years and years now you got your cup holders here and um, so basically I cool I figured out what that buttons for check out the cup holder you can see it has the ambient light around it so I'm gonna push this button it changes the color of the ambient light in the vehicle isn't that cool blue pink green orange red that's pretty cool I'm, uh, that's pretty cool I like to see this vehicle at night um, maybe there's some other ambient lights that will change but uh, right now that's the only one I can see during the day but, um, but anyway I think that's pretty neat here you got a small armrest um, and then the, the armrest lifts up and you've got some pretty good amount of storage space in there so um, try not to clutter it up too much just has a standard uh, rear view mirror flips like that for day and night mode you got some reading lights up here you can have the lights turn on interior lights you can have them in the center to where the doors open and the lights turn on or you can have the lights completely off to where they don't turn on whether the doors open or not there's your microphone for your your uh, bluetooth here is a place to put your shades now of course you kind of have to have some small shades to fit them in there so if you got some big hollywood glasses it might not fit you've got a mirror there a place to put your registration or something right there little place same thing on that side just a mirror and you got airbags pretty much all you got side airbags front airbags all kinds of airbags I guess that's how they achieve the uh, the high safety rating is they have a lot of safety features all right let's so let's check out the engine hopefully it won't be covered up in plastic covering so this one does have the 1.6 liter four-cylinder inline four-cylinder so let's see what it looks like I'm curious oh hey we can actually see the engine look at there 
It does have plastic, uh, a little bit of plastic to see, but hey, you see some metal, you actually see the engine, you see some wiring. That's cool. This does have a variable valve timing system. Uh, that's how you can get the really good gas mileage. At the same time, it is a peppy little engine. Uh, you should take one for a test drive if you haven't already. And if you have taken one for a test drive or you own one of these vehicles, um, please make some comments in the in the description. I'd, I mean, in the uh, the comment section. I'd really appreciate your input. Um, if there's anything about this vehicle that you know I skipped over or didn't get right, please uh, do your clarifications in the comment section as well. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, thank you for watching. Also, thank you to Conway Ford for allowing me to show you this cool little car. And um, all right, appreciate you watching. See you next time.